This morning on the dish, a chef who grew up in southern heat and put it in a bottle. <laughs> Jeff Ryan was raised in the red clay fields of Georgia. During a break from college, he got a restaurant job in South Carolina and made cooking his career with stops at top venues there and in the Midwest. Along the way, he noticed that bottles of the hot sauce he created kept disappearing from restaurant tables. So he decided to help customers acquire them legitimately. He just come out <laughs> of the kitchen to manufacture his red clay hot sauce line, now available nationwide. Chef Jeff Ryan, <laughs> good morning and welcome to The Dish. Good morning. Grateful to be here. Thank you all for having me. Good stuff. What do we have in front of us here? Uh, we've got a little fall southern brunch. So starting on our right, we've got some stone, uh, steel cut oats with caramelized apples and pears, toasted almonds, and some of our hot honey. Then we got some candied bacon. I would uh, give a pro tip here. You might want to get a piece of candied bacon and put it in your Bloody Mary that we'll get to in a second. Oh. <laughs> uh, we got some coastal crab cakes over some blistered okra and red clay aioli. We have a grits in the style of how I like my hash browns at Waffle House. So scattered, smothered, covered, chunked, and diced. Uh, which just means caramelized onions, tomatoes, bacon, and cheese. Oh. And then we have a winter citrus salad here with a varietal of winter citrus, fennel, radishes. This is my G-Mama's pound cake. Uh, they had pecan trees in the yard, so uh. I used to run around picking those up, have them with the pound cake and some sh chantilly cream, and, and then a Bloody Mary. So <laughs> it's with a... Uh, the big business. Yeah, that's right. My friend's yeah. High Wire Distillery down there. Their vodka is fantastic Cheers. for this. Cheers. Cheers. With a lover of hot sauce, I'm going to grab these this is, one, yeah. this is my, one of my favorite dish presentations. Ever. Yes, it this is. Look great. Awesome. It's really great. Did, it's something to gather around the table, too. Did you grow up loving food? I did. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, in South Georgia in a little town called Ellaville with my grandparents, and they were very good cooks. So anything from going out to the to the yard and picking up pecans or farm fresh eggs, or my great grandfather was a watermelon farmer, so food's always been a part of me. Tell uh, us the story behind Red Clay. Yeah. This really was by happenstance. Yeah, it was absolutely organic. So Charleston is a great food community. I was making hot sauce in several restaurants. Ended up taking it to the next level because people were stealing it off the table in the restaurant. So to your point about legitimizing it, I don't really want people to get arrested for hot sauce. So we, uh, we legitimized the business. I started making it in my garage in bourbon barrels and slowly we've grown over the past five years to actually making it more of a legitimate process, making it with proper manufacturers, but still holding true to our values. I'm heading to Charleston this afternoon. Oh, you? Yeah. Fantastic. Check them out. Yeah. Fantastic food. Right on. Fantastic. Um, and, and when you develop the, the hot sauce, what, what, are you, what are you trying to create? What are you, what are you sensing? Right, that's a fair point, because I think the market is very saturated, but it's not saturated by things that are focused on being delicious. So much of the market's just trying to be hot, mm -hmm. and we approach it from a chef's mentality where we're trying to like, create nuance. We're trying to accentuate the foods that you're eating, not overpower it. Because if you're going to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, the last thing you want to do is dump something on it and ruin the whole thing. I believe right? it's all about the tang. Absolutely. And, and the red sauce is my favorite, just for awesome. you to know. Awesome. But I would imagine you were in the kitchen mm -hmm. and you were successful making the transition you had to think twice about, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, it, it takes a leap of faith. Uh, fortunately for me, I had a driver and family that took me out of the kitchen. Uh, the, the chef life is difficult. My wife's a teacher, so trying to balance that work-life balance as being a chef was difficult. So I have three little kids now and they're, they're my primary focus. So I wanted to step away from the kitchen, take a leap of faith on Red Clay and see where we could take it. Well, as you think about that and as you sign our dish, if there's anyone you'd love to share this meal with, who would it be? I would actually say someone pretty contemporary and Joe Rogan. Uh, I love his oh, podcast. Oh, wow. I think he would really enjoy uh, yeah. some of our sauce line. And I feel like the dialogue that he's having yeah, heck of a dinner. right now yeah. is super cool. So yeah, I'd love to have a, have a meal with him. I think he'd probably go for that bacon over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chef Jeff Ryan, we thank you. Thanks for signing our dish. And for more on him and the dish, head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.